Mr. Carmack. Ray tracing is only interesting if you can get a hundred rays or so bouncing around per pixel of output. And in fact, this is completely untrue because the advan the chief advantage of the tracing approach appears as soon as you have one ray per pixel or even, even fewer than that. But uh, when you shoot run ray and you don't bounce it, you don't have mirrors, you don't have radiosity, you don't have lighting bounces, even if you don't employ a Minecraft-like cellular automaton for cellular lighting, and that's the case here, we don't have any real lighting, the chief advantage of ray tracing is still is as effective as it would be if you had hundreds of times more rays. The chief advantage is that it deals with occlusion in the correct way by not spending any effort drawing things that aren't visible. And um, I, this film here shows massive occlusion 